Hi, animations really improve your application because they let the user know where he currently is or if a click was successful. So animations are more than just a nice little extra feature, they're really important. In the next videos and in this video we're going to learn how to add animations to our React.js application and for this in this video I will set the basics by explaining how CSS transitions work. So no React.js at this point but we'll soon get there. In this video we're going to build this application with the material CSS framework. We got this simple card which we can scale up and scale down or hide altogether. So let's dive into that and rebuild this. I'm starting with a basic React application and that's a very simple application. All I do have here is, well, this render function which renders me my header here, though the links by the way will not work, and then the content of this application which is this card. As mentioned before I'm using the material CSS framework, I'm importing it here in the index.html file with this link. So this is my React.js application and I want to hook up these action buttons here with the respective methods and then trigger some styling changes. So I already hooked them up here to the on height and on scale method, but these methods don't do anything. Now, how do we use CSS transitions to animate our object here? You have to understand how the transition property or attribute works in CSS. I do have my styles constant here, which I will assign to this card here. I simply use the spread operator to spread out my style attributes here and add them as an inline style to the card. But there is only one style I want to add and that's the transition style. Transition is a CSS attribute I can use to define how the element on which I attach this class or this style should behave when some other style is changed. Therefore, the first thing I specify here on the transition element or the transition attribute is on which change do I want to react or do I want to animate something. I could enter all, which means react to all animatable element or attribute changes. And keep in mind, not all attribute changes are animatable. And you can generally trust your common sense in what you would think that would be animatable and what not. For example, changing the font family, well that is not animatable. Because yeah, you could think about how one character slowly changes to the character of another font family, but that's not really that realistic and it doesn't work. On the other hand, things like the opacity are animatable and we will use this. So we could set this simply to all or we could target specific attributes. Like let's say we only want to animate when the opacity of an element changes. Now here I'll use all since I want to animate both the scale and the opacity. Now the other thing we want to specify here on the transition element is the duration over which we want our animation to appear. So this transition from the old style to the new style. That is why it's called transition in the end. Here I'll choose one second so that we can clearly see this transition happen. And then you can also specify an easing function, which means should it be a linear transition, so always have the same velocity or speed, or should it have a higher velocity at the beginning and slow down to the end, or the other way around. You can do this with ease in or ease out and so on. So I'll choose ease out here and of course I need to put these that into a string since I'm in a JavaScript object here. So with this I'm setting up my transition and I'm telling CSS here on any animatable style which changes don't do the change instantly instead do it over one second and start faster than you end. This is what I'm telling it here. Now I already set up some basic styles here in my state. I want to start with an opacity of 1 so that we can see it and a scale of 1 so that we have the normal size, the default size. Now if I click the on hide button, I want to change the opacity because I want to hide the element. So here what I want to do is I want to set opacity equal to let's say 0 so that it's gone. Now that would remove it instantly if we would not have that transition set up here. And here on the scale what I want to do is I want to change my scale 
to, now you could say to 1.3, but I also want to be able to scale it down if I click the button a second time. So here I will simply check what this state scale is, if it is greater than one, in which case I want to scale it down to one, otherwise I want to scale it up like this. So with this I'm setting these two properties in my state, but of course setting them doesn't really do anything in the animation. Remember, on the card object, which I want to animate here, I'm only distributing my styles constant and the style constant, well, it only has this transition style here. So right now we're not animating anything. In order to change this and do animate something, we have to go to our card, and this is why I set up the styles on this way here in the first place, and add additional properties here, like the opacity. So we also want to animate the opacity and here we want to have the opacity stored in our state, like this. Now for the scale, we don't set it with a scale attribute, that's not how it works in CSS. Instead we use the transform attribute, which then expects a scale function like this. This is pure CSS here. We have this transform attribute, which allows us to apply all kinds of transforms to element, like for example scaling here, or also moving its position. In this scale function here, I'll now exit out of my string because here I want to add this state scale. So the scale to which I set it. So that this is inserted in the string which is then applied as a style. This is how this works. Now let me save this and go back to this application and let's see. Looks pretty good to me. So this is how we created this. And if this was too fast, I strongly recommend a basic CSS video or course, because here I really wanted to focus on how we can add this to our React application. So what did we do? Just a wrap up. We set up the transition here on the styles constant to transition any animatable attributes on this element over one second with a faster start and a slower end. This styles constant was then applied as a style to the card here, simply with the spread operator to spread out all the properties of this styles constant since this is an object. And here we have to add key value pairs. This is why I had to spread it out. And then I added other properties or other key value pairs, opacity and transform. Both are of course CSS styles we can use. And opacity simply takes a number, which we store in this state opacity, and transform takes a transform function. Here I chose scale and to this function I pass the scale sta stored in my state. And the stored scale or opacity is changed when I click the hide or scale button. This is how this works together and of course you can find this code in the video description.